Right then everyone, it's the, I think it's the 7th of February actually, 2023. I was up here just over a week ago doing a bit of videoing. Since then I've broken, fractured my left wrist I fractured my left wrist and uh, hit my head I can see a red, very big dog he's been barking, I think he, he might have got out or he could be with somebody He looks like a large retriever, actually. Anyway, I've got my arm in plaster. I've taken photographs of it. This is the new plaster. Uh, it's a lighter one, but I've still got to be careful not to do any heavy lifting or any strain, like holding the camera. I just did it then for a minute to steady it. But um, I, I'm an outdoor person, as people know. So obviously my plans are all wayward at the moment, uh, depending on how quick this fracture heals. And I've got to be careful not to trip because it's not until you can't use an arm properly that you realise how much it helps you balance does everything from undoing tops of bottles and cans doing hot water bottles, washing up pulling your clothes up after you've been to the loo all those very basic things that we take for granted it is still quite painful and I am taking paracetamol and very very bruised but what he said was uh, it was still much in line all the bones weren't in need of uh, surgery so basically that was that's one good thing but it's extremely painful still um, he said to encourage to keep moving the fingers don't do any heavy lifting and try not to fall so I can't just sit in the flat in what I call the box for another month so I thought today I'll come out do a basic video with a very small bag I've just brought out my pockets are filled with stuff like bits of sweets I've got a small can of lemonade I've got um, chocolate, a bar of chocolate um, I've got some paracetamol just in case I had some before I come out. Now I've been let down a lot by buses today. It was a quarter of an hour late. I nearly gave up. In fact, I did and started walking to the next bus stop. It wasn't appearing. The bus wasn't appearing on the map on your phone. So I couldn't track where it was. I thought it wasn't going to come. Anyway, it did come and I managed to see it. And I, I held my hand out with my bus pass and he stopped, but he said, I still, he didn't know I had a broken arm, I still had to run to the bus stop ahead of me, a couple of hundred yards. He knew he was late. And I thought to myself, when I was waiting, I thought, I bet it won't turn up. You know, because I've been let down over the past two weeks, three times. Anyway, it came, it's the number 50. And I managed to get dropped off up here in the wood, which is what I wanted to do. You can get picked up here as well. So I got dropped off and I thought, 
I'm going to have a walk in the wood because we don't know if the weather's going to change, if we are going to get snow, if we are going to get torrential wind and rain. So I thought to myself, what you really need to do is um, go out while it's mild. And it's mild today. I come out quite late. But I, the plan wasn't to go out for a whole day's hike or anything like that. Not yet. I'm trying to see how the arm goes. I've managed to put a, an old glove on it. Uh, and I'm keeping it upright quite a bit. In a resting position. And trying not to use it. So anyway, I got up here. It's Tuesday the 7th of February. And I just... I was getting a little bit despondent when I didn't, when I thought it won't come in. I thought, oh, not again, that's unreliability, you know, and I depend so much. That's why I was thinking of getting a car. Well, at the moment, it's a good job I didn't get the car, isn't it? Because think about changing gear with this arm might take a year to recover, even though it's healing. It could take a year. Things don't heal very quickly with your older. So. And of course, I cut my, f my thumb, my, no, my forefinger during the fall. I banged my head. I might have to have another scan of my head done. Um, you know, and of course, I ache all over and bruises were coming out all over the place. Bruises, I didn't know I had. So I'm doing this, this video is for posterity and as a record of time. It's a visual diary still. I, I like to record the good and the bad. Now, also, a couple of days after I hit the ground, I must have created an earthquake. Because they've had massive earthquake and aftershocks in Turkey over the last couple of days. Over 3,000 so far dead. And there will be more. They showed the buildings, high-rise flats, just collapsing like pancakes, with people in them. So, it, it looks awful. I've got a friend who lives out in Turkey somewhere, but I think she said she don't live near the fault line. I've sent her a note, but of course some of the internet's down over there. So I don't know if she'll get it, or if she'll even reply. I haven't heard from her for a while. Um, We've lost touch a lot over the last, we, well, we, we don't see each other. I haven't seen her since I ran one of the London Marathons, 1985. But we've always felt close. And she, at one time she used to invite me to stay. But I think she's in, she's got other things on her mind now, so I don't get invited anymore. Um... And if she knows I've fallen over, she won't be at all surprised. She says, that's just Sheila. I'm trying to avoid the stumps in the ground, everyone. Because it was a stone. See that one there? But a bit more raised than that, where my foot went near it. And I, I started to, to try and correct my fall. And I couldn't. And I crashed down. I was lucky that... A new car was going to run me over, or a bus, or a lorry. I was lucky that the kind people, the taxi driver, immediately stopped. He had a passenger, but he volunteered to take me to the hospital. And I had um, a woman who used to work at the college. She said, I'll, I'm going to stay with you. And of course, I had Zara's dog with me, Maggie. We were just going for one of our little strolls. The, the bit I passed, I used to do loads of times. I've been back, photographed it, done all the photos of me and the stone, and sent them to the council. Now, the reason I did it quite quickly was, a witness, he was very close to me, though he didn't actually see me fall, he heard me fall. He was just in front of me. He was walking with a stick, and I met him. I was going to the hospital, waiting for the bus, plenty of time, hoping it would come. 
And this old man came along who I recognised from several times when he's out walking. And he said, yes, he said, I heard you fall. Uh, he said, it's terrible around here. And then he also said, you're not the first one to fall here. So I told the council that. I gave them the exact location via a Google map. And I took photographs of the stone, its location in the, at the traffic light junction. And um, photographs of my, my injuries, which got worse by the way. The photograph I gave them was actually a better one. Still showed two black eyes and a broken, not a broken eye. Fortunately, I didn't break my nose. I've got such a small nose that you can't, it isn't big enough to break, if you know what I mean. Uh, I've only got a little nose, so that was fortunate. But I've got two black eyes. The bruising's going from black to sort of a horrible yellow colour, like zombie looking. And, uh, so anyway, that's what's going on in the world with the, the earthquake at the moment. So there's people far, well, people have died, have died or have horrendous injuries in Turkey now and Syria. And of course, Syria is a, a, a war zone and they've been devastated as well. But of course, there's problems with who they're going to, well, who's going to go in to help the rescue teams. Because there's mines everywhere there. I'm going up to the spirit tree. I spoke to the spirit tree the other week and look what's happened to me. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. So here we are folks, in, our, in Western Woods, in the middle of winter. We're supposed to be getting this Arctic, not Arctic, Atlantic cold spell. But it hasn't arrived. It might have arrived in Scotland, but it hasn't arrived here. somebody coming along now. So what I'm going to do is um, turn off the video for a little while and take some pictures. Over now.